Hello again and thank you for watching. Today we're going to talk about using your home as a centerpiece of your household's financial foundation. And I'm going to give you some context as to why a smart purchase of your primary residence is key to maximizing your family's lifestyle and wealth. And along the way, I'll share a few tips that I've given young families contemplating making the biggest financial decision of their lives. So by now you should know I'm a huge supporter of Canadians using home ownership as a means to a healthy lifestyle. And today we're going to explore just why real estate is such a powerful tool when it comes to managing your personal finances. I can't wait to share some tips with you about what I've learned along the way, so let's hurry up and get going. All right, well, it would be hard for me to overstate the importance of home ownership on your overall financial picture. On this channel, we've talked about the power of leverage, renting versus owning, and the reasons why real estate generally appreciates over time. But in our video today, we're going to talk about a few of the less obvious factors and some of the incredible tools that you can take advantage of of when you're picking your castle for your family's kingdom. So without further ado, here are my five personal finance tips to help you make the most of your ownership experience. First up is the age old real estate adage, location, location, location. And the reason why this cliche stood the test of time is because it's highly relevant to how consumers will actually experience a piece of real estate. The proximity to all of the things that you do outside of the home is so important. Your house should give you the gift of time as it's the most democratic of resources given that we all only have 24 hours a day. Yeah, indeed, location matters because if you don't do the math, a poor location choice could cost you incremental time each and every day. The commutes to work, school or shopping, all of these minutes add up to hours and days and months and years over your household's lifespan in your property. And these time savings are gonna show up on your bottom line with reduced commute times, quicker access to goods and services, and more time to work if you choose to do so. So since we started this point with a cliche, we'll end it with one too, time is money after all. Okay, next up we have a big one and it's a bit more obvious and this is net worth building. One of the most obvious benefits to home ownership is that it gives you two ways to build your net worth passively, which means you don't have to put any labor or work in to earn the returns. The first of these two ways is through passive appreciation, which occurs when you buy intelligently within a corridor of growth where other people or companies will spend money to improve of your location for you so ideally you get to see the value of your home go up over time the second one is through principal pay down or paying off your mortgage with every mortgage payment you make about half of it goes towards a reduction in the overall balance of your loan both of these things taken together will increase the value of your assets and decrease the amount of debt that you carry, resulting in an, un in an incredibly positive impact on your overall financial picture. Third up, if we want to reduce our borrowing costs, then we want to show the banks that we are a credible borrower. And we do this by making payments, which over time improve our credit rating. Each and every payment that you make builds your credit with financial institutions. Also, when you are able to show that you own your own home, and have a solid net worth position, it will make it much easier for you to obtain unsecured lines of credit from your, your bank or your lender. Unsecured lines of credit aren't that big. They're, they're around $5,000 to $50,000, but when you tell the bank that you own your own home, they're much more likely to extend an unsecured line of credit towards you, which can help improve your liquidity and improve your credit further if you borrow against the unsecured line of credit and pay it off consistently. You might not need this debt, but a great piece of financial advice that I received was to borrow when you can, not when you need to. Lines of credit don't cost you anything if you don't draw on them. So get them while you can as you may need them on a rainy day. Now, the last two of our points, we're going to talk about complete game changers for your personal finances. And these are secured lines of credit or home equity lines of credit called HELOCs. Once you achieve an equity position greater than an 80% loan to value, meaning your mortgage debt is less than 80% of the property value, you can apply for a home equity line of credit or a HELOC. These work essentially the same way as a giant credit card, meaning you can borrow a little bit here and there whenever you need to, but because they are secured against your personal residence, which is considered very low risk by the banks, the rates are low, which mean that you can can tap into your home's equity in small amounts as you need to if emergencies occur or if you have inconsistent income. Perhaps you're a business owner or you count on bonuses or commission-based sales. Well, you can draw on your home equity line of credit to smooth out the financial peaks and valleys that life throws at you. As you make your payments against your HELOC, it will
will improve your credit rating, making it easier to borrow against in the future if you need to. Having a home equity line of credit enables homeowners to better manage the uncertainties of life, but it also shields them from needing to pay much higher rates of interest for consumption spending items for other things that you might have to finance suddenly. Perhaps you might need a new vehicle or a new computer. Well, rather than signing up for the expensive financing offered by the car dealer or the electronic store, you could instead opt to pay cash for your consumer spending and draw it from your line of credit. This can also be used to pay off your credit card balances. A line of credit's interest rate in Canada right now is about 3% compared to 18% or higher for credit cards or consumer debt. A huge difference in the early stages of your wealth building. All right, for our fifth and final reason, we're going to stay with home equity lines of credit, but instead we'll shift the discussion away from defense and consumption spending savings and get on the offense and talk about investing to make money. So because the interest rates on home equity lines of credit are so cheap, it can often make financial sense to borrow against them in order to invest. The logic goes that if the rate of return that you earn on your investments is equal to or greater than the rate that you were being charged on your home equity line, plus the prevailing rate of inflation, then it makes sense to borrow to invest. Real estate investors do this all the time. They will set up home equity lines of credit against their personal residence and then borrow against them to be used as a down payment on another property, effectively financing the new property all the way up to 100% and using none of their hard earned cash to do so. If you invest shrewdly and achieve a positive cash flow from your investment property, then the rate of return that you will earn is almost infinite because you're putting the bank's money to work and not yours. To make this even more powerful, in Canada there is a tax incentive in place to encourage investment activity, which is that you can write off the interest expense the bank will charge on your home equity line of credit when you borrow against it to invest. Home equity lines of credit are an almost essential element of household financial management and wealth building. And if you don't own, well, if you own a home and don't have a HELOC yet, let us know and we'll get you connected with a reputable mortgage broker to make sure that you understand your options. So hopefully you can see how your home is so much more than just a roof over your head. By purchasing intelligently, you can minimize the operating expenses of your household, increase your net worth, and then use your new equity possession as cheap debt to manage the uncertainties of life while also giving you capital to invest. I hope you enjoyed our insights and if you learned something new today, please feel free to subscribe to our channel and let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next video.